Hi everyone, the Eclipse Spark Plug Working Group has released the new Spark Plug specification version 3.0. In this video, let's explore what's new. First, we will look at what Spark Plug specification version 3.0 provides compared to the previous version 2.2. On a high level, the new Sparkplug specification cleans up and formalizes the previous release. For example, Chapter 2, entitled Principles of the new specification, replaced the background chapter of version 2.2. The updated chapter describes the key principles of Sparkplug. Chapter 5, Operational Behavior, focuses on the operational aspects of Sparkplug environments. The organization also included MQTT version 5.0 specific settings, especially with respect to the different session settings, for example, clean session in MQTT 3.1.1 versus clean start in version 5.0. This specification has a specific subset of requirements on MQTT servers. In specification document, an MQTT broker is referred to as an MQTT server. The specification distinguishes between a Sparkplug compliant MQTT server and a Sparkplug aware MQTT server. Let's take a quick look at the difference between the two. A Sparkplug compliant MQTT server must support the following Publish and subscribe on quality of service 0 and 1, all aspects of will messages, including the use of the retain flag and quality of service 1, all aspects of the retain flag. Whereas a Sparkplug aware MQTT server includes all of the aspects of a Sparkplug compliant MQTT server and must have the following additional abilities shown on the screen now. These are the characteristics Sparkplug aware MQTT servers must have. Would you like to know more about these elements? You may find them in our full blog post on what's new in Sparkplug 3.0. We have placed the link in the video description. In addition, a Sparkplug aware MQTT server may also replace an death messages timestamp. If it does, it must set the timestamp to the UTC it attempts to deliver the end death to subscribed clients. The slide here summarizes the must have features and may have features for Sparkplug compliant broker and Sparkplug aware broker. The HiveMQ broker provides all these features with the free available HiveMQ Sparkplug aware extension. This extension turns the HiveMQ broker into a fully Sparkplug aware broker. Check out the source code as well as release artifact of the extension at the HiveMQ GitHub repository. Now let's move on to the Sparkplug compatibility program. The Sparkplug compatibility program allows software and hardware vendors to prove compatibility and certify their products for Eclipse, Sparkplug and MQTT-based IoT infrastructure. For end-users and integrators, this program is an easy way to procure software products compatible with the Sparkplug specification. To discover how to become Sparkplug compatible, check out a step-by-step -step video tutorial on obtaining Sparkplug 3.0 certification using the TCK. We are linking it here. Ok, and here is what you need to know about the Sparkplug Technology Compatibility Kit, also called TCK. A proper Sparkplug implementation requires full compatibility with the following components Edge of Network Nodes devices, the primary application and of course the MQTT broker. The Sparkplug Technology Compatibility Kit is available to provide guidelines and verify that all components up for certification are compliant with Sparkplug specification. The TCK is a web application that consists of a HiveMQ broker with a HiveMQ extension and a web interface. The web interface provides access to the compatibility tests. You can find the TCK in the Eclipse Sparkplug repository at GitHub. The link is below in the video description. For a detailed guide on how to build the Sparkplug TCK HiveMQ extension and the types of compatibility tests follow the link to our full blog post on what's new Sparkplug 3.0. Even though overall not much has changed, the new specification handles a bunch of topics much more comprehensively. This is a real gain for organization interested in being Sparkplug certified. This is also a real added value not only for manufacturers but also for end users.
Check out our MQTT Sparkplug Essential series to accelerate your industrial IT journey. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.